So my Pimax Crystal firmware has been updated to 928 and with that comes the 72Hz refresh rate option. Now I know a lot of people want as high a refresh rate as possible, 120 or more on other headsets, but for me personally I'm happy hitting the lower refresh rate and being able to boost the graphics somewhat because I just really don't see uh, much visual impact going higher refresh rate a lot of people do and that's great but some of us don't that's why it's good to have these options so i'm just going to do a few laps and ams2 at 90 now which it's currently set on which obviously you don't need to see um, just to have it fresh in my mind when i then switch it over to 72 and see how that runs and really to see if there's any flicker or any problems because i have tried other low uh, refresh rate headsets and there's been too much flicker and so on and it's been unplayable so um yeah hopefully uh this will be as good as the 8kx was at 75 hertz and yeah we'll see how it goes okay so full grid here at nurburgring 72 hertz now graphics uh, and performance everything as high as it will go and obviously i'm on a 40 90 100 steam super sampling and Despite a full grid, I am hitting the 72 hertz refresh rate required. Graphics can't go any higher, save adding super sampling. It looks obviously fantastic. Now, how does it feel going from 90 hertz to 72? I'm gonna say, initially, for the moment I put it on, I did feel like, you know, I could tell. I could tell more more so I think than maybe with the 75 hertz in the 8kx maybe those maybe those three hertz make a difference it's so there's no obvious flicker or anything but I can sort of tell there is ever so slightly and you, you know how it is I'm sure you've experienced it that's not to say it's unpleasant or uncomfortable uh, I'm already almost being used to it it's big enough it's you know it'll feel the norm but I completely understand, you know, there will be a lot of people who would try this and go, no, they, they don't like it because some people are more susceptible to things than others. But that all said, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to go back now the other way and try a 90 again and see how it feels. But this is, I've got to say, it's a fantastic option because it looks great and there's no, although I'm, maybe I'm just convincing myself I can see a difference. You know, if you struggle with uh, performance, it's a fantastic option, you know. 90 down to 72, what a 20% uh, decrease in required performance if you've got a lower GPU. It certainly uh, makes the crystal a more viable option for more people if you're happy with a lower refresh rate. And this is perfectly fine. All I'm saying is it's obviously not not quite 90 obviously and I can ever so slightly tell which of course you would otherwise why would we have different refresh rate rates if there was no difference I mean if it was just like this I'd be happy I'd be fine I don't have a problem with this yes yeah, pretty darn awesome and I know <clears throat> it's harder to hit the refresh rate at night time in this game once the headlights come on it the pre the uh, FPS tanks but of course Having to hit 72 is a darn sight easier than 90. Okay, I'm just, I am just going to quickly swap it back to 90. And see if I think, oh wow, that's, that's a big improvement. Right, this is something I just want to bring up quickly now that it's happened. You can order the Pimax Crystal Sim Edition with no controllers. So you've just got the headset right. And occasionally, this can happen. The dash comes up. That's it. Can't do anything about it. I've either, well I can get up and go and get a controller from across the room, which is a pain, but if you haven't got a controller, you, well you've got no choice, you've got to restart Steam and hope it doesn't come up again. No rhyme or reason, it doesn't usually happen, but it can. And although I've got this gaze pointer, there's no button to do anything with that, I can't, you know, I can change volume or press the power button, but that's it. You're stuck. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that now that it's happened and I can demo it. Okay, so back at 90 hertz, I've had to lower the graphics just a tad. MSAA down to medium, reflection down to medium, and that just keeps me at 90 pretty much no matter what. Of course, it looks amazing, but 
Well, I don't know what I'm doing driving-wise, but how do I feel about the jump from 72 to 90? Because that's the point. I mean, it's not a massive... It's not like I'm going, oh, wow, that's so much better. I can tell the difference. Um, like, having gone from the one-to-one -one back to back, it certainly feels like there's... It's not even a noticeable flicker. Um, it's, it's like it's there. <laughs> I know it's there. I can't exactly see it, I can feel it, it's it's hard to describe, but it's not terrible, it's certainly, you can play with that, and if that gives you, you know, a better option for your GPU or whatever, then so be it, fantastic, I can't blame anyone for sticking to 72 hertz, but uh, for me, I was planning to, I thought I would be, just living at 72, I think I'm just going to keep it now for 90 because, you know, especially in this sim with the 4090, it's, it's easy enough to stick to 90 FPS anyway. Except in, in nighttime races. 72 option, it's great that they've added it now. We all wanted it. I wonder if they can do anything in between. Could you have a, an 80 hertz or a 75 hertz or whatever? I suppose that wouldn't make much difference, but, you know, I wonder. I think it's great that it's an option. And it's certainly viable. And certainly gives you a bit more headroom. But plenty of people don't like to go below 90, and in this circumstance, more than the 75 in the 8KX, it was more noticeable dropping to 72 in this. But by no means terrible, certainly playable, certainly livable. But yeah, I'm just going to be keeping it to 90 for the foreseeable then. I tell you what, while we're on the subject of refresh rate, Let's check out 120 hertz. I might be surprised. I feel like I don't need it. <laughs> it's not something I need, but uh, hey, you know what? Let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm in now 120 hertz. I've had to drop the graphic settings quite a bit. Um, it's still all on medium to high, and I'm I'm struggling to keep it at 120 now that the the field spread out a little bit. I'm at 120. Do I notice a, a huge improvement from 90? No, I don't. I didn't think I would. So for me, I don't see the benefit going up to 120. Some people do, that's fine. For me, I think I'll be keeping it to 90. I think there's more benefit to be had going from 72 to 90, or the other way around for performance. But coming up to 120, I mean, yeah. I'd have to drop the graphics even more, really, to keep it locked to 120, more than I'd want to, or even, uh, you know, lower the resolution somewhat, which I definitely don't want to do. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a go, but, you know, it's great to have all these options. That's something we can all agree on, I think. That'll do it for now. Any comments or questions, drop below, and I'll always try to answer. Otherwise, I'll catch you later. Cheers.